Well, today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to factory reset your Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. This is the device I have right here. And uh, let me just show you guys what I'm actually got here. We'll go into settings just so you can see exactly what we're working with here. Now I've done a review on this video before and I actually even did a giveaway on it and gave one of these away um, when I hit a million views on YouTube. So let's go ahead and just check it out right here. I just want to show you what we're running. Like I said, this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 and it's model SM-T210R. See what Android version you got and here's your build number right down there at the bottom. So that's what we're dealing with here. I'm just going to go ahead really quick and show you guys how to factory reset it. So what you're going to do is you're going to power it off. And then we're going to boot into um, stock Android recovery. So we're powered off. What you're going to do is you're going to hold your home button, your volume up button, and then your power button. You should see a Samsung logo, or that logo, I think. And I think you can let go of your power button keep holding the other two buttons and here we go this is Android recovery right there stock Android recovery on the Galaxy Tab 3 so from here there's a couple different features you can do and I think you can scroll with the volume up and down I think let's see we'll try it yes it is so you have reboot now you have apply update from ADB uh, apply update from external you can do a factor reset you can wipe cache partition or apply update from cache partition. Uh, if you're running devices running slow, I would recommend doing this wipe cache partition. It'll repopulate and it'll just speed up your device a little bit. It shows help. And then if you just want to do a factory set and go back to factory settings, you click that one and you would hit power. I'm going to do wipe cache really quick just to show you. Boom, that's it. Wipes cache. It'll do the same thing as it does a factory reset. It'll take a little longer and it'll delete all your apps, everything, and bring this thing back to factory like it is when you took it out of the box. So I'm done with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit power to select the reboot system. And this is your select button and these are your scrolling buttons up here. So power and volume up and down. So we're going to go ahead and do a reboot. And the device should go ahead and reboot uh, normally. Now you may have an Android is updating anytime you wipe cache partition you do get the Android is updating well normally not every time but normally so let me just show you that in case it does come up here and actually didn't even do that so not a big deal so then the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you guys how to get into download mode so again we're going to power off the device and download mode is specifically to use with a program called Odin and it allows you to program your device and flash things to your Galaxy Tab 3 through your computer. So I'm just going to show you how to get in the mode. So what you got to do is again hold home this time volume down and power and here we go and you're going to come up with this screen which basically gives you um, some warnings about custing uh, flashing custom OS operating systems and how it can void your warrant. Actually, it doesn't even say anything about voiding warrant. It just says that it could be a problem. It could cause problems with your device. And then you have two options. You can hit volume down and you can restart, or you can volume up and continue. So if you want to get into download mode, you're going to go volume up. And boom, you're going to see this screen. This is download mode. When you're in download mode, you can hook it up to your computer. And like I said, with a program called Odin, you can flash things to your device. So some key things to note is right here it says Odin mode and then it says product name which we went over already. We have current binaries, Samsung official and we have system status as official and a little H hardware rev version right there. Now if you guys went ahead and you flashed something to this through Odin these things are probably not going to say official anymore. It's not really a huge deal but just be aware of that. Alright, so you're in download mode, you've done downloading, it probably is going to do an auto restart your device if you download something. But if you just want to get out of the mode, just take your power button and hold it. Definitely do not do this, like power it off, when you are downloading something. That would be very, very bad. But to just reboot and get out of download mode, because we're not hooked up to a computer, you just keep holding until the device reboots. So, there you go guys. That is the Galaxy Tab 3. 
how to do uh, get into stock Android recovery, do a factory reset, and how to get into download mode. Stay tuned guys on this device because I'm going to be doing a bunch of new videos on this device. Root access, custom recoveries, ROM, flashing, all that good stuff is coming down the road. So stay tuned. As always, please uh, check me out at uh, rootjunkie.com right there. Um, Facebook or Twitter on the other side. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.